what is going on guys it's justin from the j media back with another video so if you guys liked the previous video you would know that recently we just picked up a new set of wheels so if you guys haven't watched that make sure to pause this video click back so you know what's going on to stay up to date uh, and if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell so you know when new videos are out anyway let's get to straight to the video um over here we have a new set of wheels and tires so these are used i'm not going to say that they are new they are used uh and if you guys know your wheels you guys would know these are te37s the brand is race race engineering Vogue racing te37s so these are my favorite wheels of all time japanese brand forge wheels great wheels and uh again if you guys have been watching my videos, you would know that on my Mitsubishi Lancer Turbo build, I do have T37s on that as well. Um, that's the first time I bought T37s. These are my second set. Again, really honored to be able to own T37s since they are my dream wheels. The main difference is there are different variants of the T37s. So for the title of this video, I'll be telling you guys how to tell the difference between a real and a fake T37 wheel. So I don't have my Mitsubishi Lancer Turbo build here, but um, I'll be able to kind of explain. So on that car, I have T37 SLs, which are super laps, a little bit different. Uh, they are a newer addition. I think the color on that is a double press black. I'll go ahead and insert some photos right here. But for the purpose of this video, I'll be talking about the OG T37s, meaning the older version of them. So these are the OG T37s, um, which are an older edition, like I said. And I'm not sure of the exact year, but there's a couple ways that you can tell if the T37 is real or fake. Um, I did a lot of research, you know, since I'm more familiar with the newer T37 SLs, not so much with the OG T37s, I wanted to make sure I'm getting real wheels, authentic wheels, not replica wheels. There are companies out there like Rota, Rota Grids, uh, like JNC that make replica T37s. So let me go ahead and bring this wheel out to show you guys the difference. Okay, so first up, we'll look at the face of the wheel. Like I said, you first have to determine which kind of T37 they are. Is the T37s, T37SL, T37Vs, T37 Segas, T37 Time Attacks. There's so many different variants. Uh, like I said, these are the older T37s. I believe these are the pre-2010 T37s. They are a little bit different. Um, so first up. The easiest way to tell is some of them do have stickers, some don't. These have stickers, but stickers, again, really easy to replicate. You can just buy stickers online and stick it on. Uh, for these older T37s, number one, it does not say race engineering or Vogue racing on here. For the OG T37s, they do not say that. On some of the newer ones, on my T37 SL, we have race engineering engraved on it. So for the OG 337s, pre-2010, doesn't have it. The only thing you have on the face of the wheel are these little markings. VIA, and uh, I think this one says JIL. So two little markings right here, right beside the valve stem. Another thing is the valve stem should kind of form almost a straight line valve stem to one of the holes here where your lug nut goes. So do you see, kind of straight line. So that's another way to tell. So look for these two markings, nothing else, and valve stem lines up. Uh, this does have the race valve stem cap, but again, someone could easily buy that. Uh, another thing to look on the face of the wheel is how the wheel arches. So again, depending on T37s, this one is pretty flat. It kind of comes down. Some of the fake ones are very defined. It almost looked like a 90 degree going down, really aggressive spokes. So for the OG T37s, like what these are, they kind of smooth out right here where the spokes are. So those are a few ways to tell from the front. And from the back, there's a couple ways to tell if they're authentic as well. So let me flip it around. So the first and easiest way to find out is usually they are stickers. 
stickers that says T37s uh, and all the other stuff here. This is the OG T37s. Previous owner probably ripped it off since I bought them used. My T37 SLs does have the stickers on there. So this one doesn't have it. I was like, uh, I'm not sure. But on the T37s, the OG ones, we do have some engravings on here, which most of the replica wheels don't have. So one of it over here, it says made in Japan. And it also has engraving that says race engineering. And also over here it says forged. So again, on most of the replica wheels, it doesn't have all that. So yeah, that's just some of the ways to tell whether it's a real T37 wheel or fake one. Um, like I said, pretty good deal popped up on these wheels. Again, depending on the specs of the wheels, you know, the price really varies. If you guys know wheels, you guys know T37s, one of the most iconic Japanese wheels of all time. T37s have been around for, I think, 30 or 40 years. So it's been around for a long time. Um, and really great wheel, forged wheels, really lightweight. Oh, another thing you could do, which this in this case doesn't really work because I have tires on there, is you could weigh the wheels. So T37s, again, depending on size, they typically weigh about 15 pounds. 15 16 pounds um, on your replica wheels they are heavier so they might weigh about 19 pounds or 20 pounds so if they're pretty light 15 pounds or so for the most part it should be a real wheel so those are some of the ways that you could compare um, if you guys want me to do a comparison video I could do that whenever I got I get my uh, Mitsubishi Lancer turbo build back so I'll be able to compare the OG T37s to the T37 SLs. So this might be a pretty short video, but I want to make something informative to you guys. Um, the T37s, like I said, my all-time dream wheels. If you were to buy a set brand new, again, depending on specs and stuff like that, but on average, you're looking to spend right around $4,000. So that's a lot of money for wheels. Um, and if you want to buy like the stickers, they are about a hundred something dollars. You want to buy like the race valve stem cap, there's like $40. So they do add up. Um, on my Mitsubishi Lancer Turbo build, I do have the stickers. I have the valve stem cap. I have the lug nuts. Shout out to Min. He bought me the race lug nuts. Those are over a hundred dollars as well. So you can really pimp out your wheel to all rays stuff. Um, pretty expensive. But yeah, again, I cannot... Imagine that I finally got, you know, another set of dream wheels. Um, you guys might know, whenever I picked up my DC5 RSX, I did consider getting wheels from Ray's. Uh, T37s were out of my price range, but I was thinking of maybe some Gram Lights, Ray's Gram Lights 57DRs, which are cheaper. But I went with the Anki RPF1s, got a great deal on them, so couldn't pass it up. RPF1s look great as well. Lightweight wheels. And then, most recently, the new pickup. We have the Civic SI sitting on stock wheels. So I was like, saw this great deal I couldn't pass up. These are 18 inch wheels. So I was like, I could fit them on the SI. They could go on the RSX. They could go on my Mitsubishi Lancer GT as well. Um, currently I have 17s on the RSX. I could fit 17s on this as well, which is what it is stock. But I was like, might as well size up the 18s. So if you guys like the video or if you guys like T37s, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.